Can I show them the collection box that never was? I don't even know why I'm asking for permission. Breakthrough, oh, oh, I see it. And that's what I'll say. Why'd you have to go so hard on those crimes? I'm sorry, Jessica. They did it themselves. Oh yeah, guys, okay, look, I'm matching, ready? Fire, ice. There we go, say hi. Today, we're gonna go over the fire and ice stuff. For like almost two years, the fire and ice concept has been there. It's just been waiting. I'm thinking I do a little bit of nail art. I did a little test on my other hand yesterday. Show us the shimmers, okay. Mm. Two opaque creme polishes. Three hot shimmer toppers. For hot and cold combos. Look at Van! Iridescent shimmer. Different effect depending on the base color. This is Scorched Earth, which is our red-orange iridescent shimmer. So over black, it's gonna look red-orange. Oh, it is literally hot fire on your nails. Iridescent shimmers are translucent, but when you put it over dark, it pops the most. Same topper over Cold Slate New Creme, Hot Take New Creme, One Coat Black, and Not Milky White. What up, Swatchers? They did amazing. Okay, also look at this one, Aniki B over Naked Nails. Yes, you can wear a topper over naked nails. If you have a little bit of staining or unevenness in your nail, just put a smoothing base on and bam, easy, sexy. <laughs> Allergen glow, which I'll explain. So in photography, there's a color temperature scale where they measure it in degrees Kelvin. And sometimes you'll hear me even say like, oh, I shot this using a daylight bulb or like 5,000 degrees Kelvin. And halogen, like a halogen bulb, is somewhere right here, right in the yellow zone. So that's where that came from. Science, glowy pale, but it is an iridescent shimmer. So it also shifts. So it's not really just yellow. It's like yellow, pink, and green. It's the sister to lunar unicorn skin. What? And at the hard angle, it's green. Ban! Ban looks so good over hot take. We did this like in one night, like three days ago. <laughs> As you know, I broke my nail. I know, yes. So I don't, I didn't do all the combinations. Ben stepped up, but he had to watch the hockey game. And then he was like, okay, there's like a 10 to 20 minute intermission in between each thing. So I was like, okay, give me a five minute warning. I'll set up the camera and then we'll go downstairs, run, run, run. And then we were checking on the phone when it said like how, when the next period was starting or whatever. So I was like quickly swatching, trying to get it in before the next period. So we did a quick Graham took pictures of just that and then just one topper because that's all we had time for and then he went back to the game and then he came back downstairs at the next intermission and did the same thing for another crab and another topper. Thank you Ben for this speed run in different lighting. Do you see what I mean? Okay, do you see this shot right here? This is all iPhone. This is what an iridescent shimmer over black looks like on average in your house. Freezer burn. I know you guys love this name. Bitingly cool blue iridescent shimmer. This one is the most uniform in its color. Scorched Earth and Halogen Glow have more shifty properties because of the color range they land at. Freezer Burn is like very true blue, but it goes a tiny bit indigo, just like a little bit, but it's predominantly blue. There, see how at a very, very far angle, it'll go a little bit to like indigo kind of pink, but not enough to be like, this is pink. Like, no, it's blue. Okay, it looks really cool and weird over a warm color. Two new cremes, cold slate, wipe it clean, chill out, start over with a steel blue gray creme polish. Okay, this is my broken nail. Can you tell? Uh, that's real, that is a block of ice. Yes, I froze my nail polish. Yes, it was cold. Okay, like the coverage of this one is stupid. I write one to two coats and I think the website says two coats, but it's basically a one coater. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What? Uh, yeah, that's a real lighter. Do you want a funny story though? I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I am so dumb. I bought two lighters. One of them was like Zippo, which is a good brand, right? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I got this perfect kind of red color. It wouldn't work, I would not light. I tried to figure it out, Ben tried to figure it out. I was like, am I not pushing down hard enough? Days go by and I realize that you have to put lighter fluid in it, which I didn't 
realize <laughs> my last knowledge of lighters was like the ones you just buy from the gas station and they just come with fluid. And then when I was in my studio, finally getting it to light, it's actually like really hard to do with my left hand. And then I also, in shooting the iridescent shimmers, I had a, a sheet of like white cardboard just on top of my set, just to help the light reflect a little bit better. I was holding a flame under a sheet of paper this whole time, praying, making sure I wasn't lighting my set on fire. It was the most dangerous thing I've ever done for Hollow Taco so far. Looks good though. Putting a matte taco over a shimmer just does something. It like makes you want to touch your nails. Soft and shimmery, like I want to touch it, you know? And if I didn't say it yet, Fire and Ice, new drop on hollowtaco.com. It's a bundle, five piece bundle. There's no collection box and nothing is limited edition. And this, this is what I want to do on my main hand. I was playing around with this and I was like, you know what, this is cool. I think I learned though that I would put freezer burn on top of cold slate before adding the flames. And then add hot take, paint it on. I just kind of freehanded it. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah, people have said that, but I actually have never watched that. It's a show, right? Cancel me. It's Taylor Laudner? Twilight Boy? Oh my God, how did I never watch this? The kids movie in the mid 2000s, you were in college. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so only the babies in chat were watching Shark Boy, Lava Girl. I was doing criminology. <laughs> the crumbs all come with the wider brush, the thick width brush. Poppers come with the skinny brush. Let's go in with Freezer Burn, the blue shimmer that was no secret. Because <laughs> I've shown this. Uh, more than twice, don't tell anyone. Very Cinderella. Hollow Taco nail art brushes. I don't know what this is. This is old white detectives, calm down. Um, <laughs> we're taking some hot take. Okay, so I'm just gonna plop some down here and just kind of run it through a few times, the clean brush to get it soaked. We're doing hand painting now. Oh my God, who is she? What have you done with Simply? We gotta focus. We gotta focusy, focusy. <laughs> We got a focus, you guys. Come on now. We're gaming. Boop, 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 boop. Woo. This girl is on fire. Yeah. There. Don't do too much. But I, you see how I, like, I'm putting a lot on the end? Kind of like a bead. Like I'm getting like a bead on the end and then just dragging it up. You know what this style reminds me of? Like 90s jeans or shirts. Like Jenko jeans, yeah. Like Jenko jeans definitely had flames like this. So now let's paint some shimmers on top. Let's try scorched earth. I just wanna paint a little bit on top of the flames. This is my hot girl shimmer summer. <laughs> With my broken nail. Hot wheels, oh my God, oops, sorry. It does look like hot wheels. <laughs> gonna go ahead and glossy taco it up. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, it looks good, what the fuck? Guys, I'm so hot right now. Have you heard of Simply Nailogical? Hottest nail artist on YouTube. Ooh, hot. So hot, you can't touch them. I intentionally wanted to make it look messy towards the cuticle so it looks more like an authentic fire emote. Nail art unlocked, achieved. Ding, 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 ding. I know, Simply Nailogical did what? Check this out. Hello, welcome to my store. <laughs> What color would you like? So left on red is gonna lean a little bit deeper, more like true red. And hot take is spicier, orangier leaning and a bit brighter. The floor's guava is pinker and a bit lighter, more summery. There's left on red, a bit deeper, truer red. I love a rainbow. So there's shady navy which is our navy blue. Very deep and dark and saturated in terms of like it's blue. It's not to be confused with gray. And then we've got duct tape gray and the new cold slate. Cold slate over there. Here's a quick lesson. Unicorn skin. Iridescent, translucent, asymmetrical flakes. They're a little bit chunky, but as a result, they dazzle and sparkle on the nail. These are our six unicorn skins. They come in six different colors. This is them over one coat black, so you can see their main predominant color. 
And then we've got shimmers. These are the three new ones. Shimmers are like the sophisticated little sister of unicorn skin. They are more refined. Think of it as a linear version. Kind of like we have the linear hollow taco where it's more uniform, it's in a line. It's less messy, but from far away, they really have a glow effect because of the uniformity of the pigment. And both of these types of toppers take only one coat to look like this. That's just one coat. And it will look different depending on the color of the base. Look how pretty! We finally have the full rainbow. Over black, they all look great. It's just like, what color do you like the best? Over white, there's some of them, admittedly, that look a little weird. This one is Sonic. See how it's looking yellow? And this one is Freezer Burn. Those are the only ones I was like, it's like too weird. <laughs> Glass of water. Guys, look at this wonderful specimen. This is freezer burn encased in a huge block of ice. Now I'm drinking the nail polish. It's a shimmer, right? <laughs> Guys, help! My nail polish, it's trapped in ice. There's more. This is how I did it. Okay, just these giant ice cube trays. I could only pose with it for like five seconds <laughs> before I was like, oh my God. And then it just started like leaking everywhere and then my hands are wet. I was fully convinced this would just explode in my freezer and then I'd have to call like an appliance installer and explain myself and say, I put nail polish in the freezer, it was an accident. Pose That's Ben, so I, need, I need at least 10 seconds of running footage. No. Ben. <laughs> it's cold, it's ice. Yeah. Breakthrough, oh, oh, I see it. Take your nail polish out of the freezer. Apply warm water to free it. I would actually get freezer burn if I painted my nails with this freezer burn. It's just twisting off the cap. Yeah, it's not gonna grip it. Did someone just say it's an ice cap? <laughs> Detectives, are you there? I'm calling you. Ding, ding. Every Hollow Taco launch, there's a group of detectives known as the Hollow Taco Detectives. They like to live in the corners of the Simply and Illogical Discord server. They have case files where they try and figure out what is Hollow Taco releasing next? What did Christine leak this week on stream? What can we see from her Snapchat story? And so we started this desk, which is a dedicated case file. They live under bridges surviving on raw pigeon meat. Sounds likely with the ghosts. Somewhere over the course of the last year, people just decided I would be releasing a Tide Pod collection and that would be the remaining three shimmers. Then Tide, like the laundry detergent, actually released a Simply collection. <laughs> what? I do not have a collab with a laundry detergent company. Here I am being laundered, I suppose. What is this asset? This screams I am a graphic designer energy. Here, let's do a poll on what kind of detective you are. What kind of detective are you? 87% are lurkers. Guys, this is a group work project. You have to contribute. The heck? I'm giving you a failing grade on participation. We're all introverts. This is the internet. You're telling me an introvert can't type on the internet? Nobody wants to work anymore. I have a million swatch wheels. These are my historical archives of swatch wheels. With the shimmers, collection was really centered around the special effect topper, right? So in making winter shimmers, I also had the fire and ice shimmers, was deciding which three looked best with what and what vibe of creme made sense. These are not our cremes. These are just random cremes that I had in the basement or that I picked up from the drugstore to try and differentiate color stories because shimmers on their own look similar, right? So you need to find a way to tell a different story over top of different cremes and that they feel just like a different collection. Over white and also over duct tape gray, kind of what inspired me that it looked really good with the muted gray. We initially did plan this as a collection box. Like there's even artwork that I have samples of that was printed, but just in listening to customer feedback and making sure that our releases that had anything limited edition about it was more spaced out as much as reasonably possible. That's the feedback we took into consideration and actually decided not to do a box for this launch. And do not take this to misunderstand me that like all of a sudden we're not doing boxes, like we are. That's why I was like, okay, what can we pull out that doesn't have to be <laughs> that kind of limited edition moment? Okay. So here's the creme prototypes I was thinking of. Don't even start with me. Don't say, oh, I would rather this shade. You have to trust your girl. 
<laughs> I ultimately thought these landed a little bit too dark and closer to navy blue, even though yes, they are grayer, but they are bluer. And I wanted it to be more like grayer. Duct tape gray is still very far away from this, so I saw no issue. This was just traveling a little bit more in the direction of like more, you would just call this blue. Like to me, that's just blue. I know people are gonna look at this and be like, give me a brick red now. But listen, here's my logic. A brick red with a muted slate blue doesn't give you the same like opposite, really hot and cold and dead inside effect. I intentionally went the direction caliente hot fire engine for that contrast. Now I know we need a brick red, don't get me wrong, but it did not make sense to me when I started doing this. And where might a brick red be more appropriate? Maybe, maybe it's more fall appropriate, you know? There is always a method to the madness and that's what I'll say. Okay, Ben, can I show them the collection box that never was? <laughs> ben, please, I don't even know why I'm asking for permission. You're the boss. Yes, bitch, be right back. NDA is in the chat, please. These were originally prototyped for winter shimmers, like a broken ice shimmer. And when I saw this, I was like, uh, that looks like fire and ice. If you just add fire, why don't we save this? for the Fire and Ice collection, which I like knew we were gonna do, but then we never did the box. <laughs> so it's the same texture as the Winter Shimmers box. It's the same shimmer on top. Now that the missing shimmers are out, you see them, you, you know the vibes. It's hot, it's cold. You've got more work to do on the next thing. It's very different and exciting. And that's all I can say until I figure out how I'm gonna leak things. All right, here she is. This is the yogurt lid, this one. That's how I made this. I did a stream last year on showing you how I make these, if you're interested. Oh, I cracked it. I'm too strong. It looks so weird. It's just like the boring cremes on the bottom and the shimmers on top. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> and we're back, okay. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.